Welcome back everyone to another NRG and we go back to the ZX Spectrum, the enemy of the channel. No, I'm only joking. Of course it's not. We embrace the Spectrum on this channel. Not as much as the Amstrad, of course, but hey, we do. And this is Rainbow Islands, a rather fine arcade conversion on the Spectrum, in fact. Obviously, this is Bubble Bubble 2, one of the many sequels to Bubble Bubble 2, like Bubble Bubble 2 Part 2. Um... Power Soul Stars, oh there's so many different versions, uh, or sequels should we say, of Bubble Bubble, but hey, here is Rainbow Islands, which is the uh, one of the first, probably the first proper sequels, and this is uh, quite a uh, nice little game, this, uh, very unique, in a, ooh, that was a good start, wasn't it, very unique in its gameplay and its scoring system, which is highly complicated for me, um, but the aim is to be in the human form of Bub and Bob, uh, Bub, Bobby, Bubby, something like that. Uh, anyway, I'm the human form of Bub and Bob, or Bub, or Bubby, whatever his name is. I don't know. Uh, and you can cast these rainbows, which in the Spectrum version are yellow, not rainbow coloured, which kind of puts a damper on things. Uh, hey, but at least you've like rainbow colours at the top there, I guess. Uh, collect all the jewels on the level. Uh, make your way through the ten islands, or seven islands and, th and three secret islands. Um, I'm not sure whether the Spectrum version has the secret islands. I know the arcade one does. Um, and you can complete all of them to get the nice and proper ending. The nice and happy ending, I think they call it. So yes, and the object of the game is make your way up each level using your rainbows as weapons, your yellow arcs, or yellow, you know, they look more like slices of cheese in the Spectrum version, um, to <laughs> kill the enemies on screen. They can also collect power-ups and of course, as you can see, act as ladders and, and, and climbing steps and all that kind of stuff and they disappear very quickly as well. It's a really fun game, this. It's really weird. It, I loved it in the arcade and it works really well on the home versions. The Spectrum version really has a really good um, deal of playability about it. It moves really well. Uh, it certainly is very, very colourful. Um, it's got a bit of, you know, it's got a bit of visual issues here and there for the nature of the Spectrum itself, but I tell you what, they've done a fine job uh, of uh, depicting uh, the game. Because there's lots and lots of colour going on. Um, so that's quite impressive. And the movement is really, really nice and smooth and fluid. Uh, joystick inputs are really, really nice and quite responsive indeed. A little bit touchy now and then. Clean detection is pretty much spot on as well. Sometimes a little bit dodge. There we go, I've got one of the diamonds. I haven't collected the other diamond. Whoops. you got to get all the diamonds to get the big diamond at the end when you, when you beat the boss on the last level of the island. Oh, I missed that uh, buggy dude. Oh, and I, oh God, I thought I'd just crack him, but I missed the bee thing. There we go, let's, let's go again. And multiple rainbow shots there as well. Multiple power-ups you can get and multiple rainbows you can spawn is uh, one of the power-ups. Oh, that was close. Good good example of collision detection there. Very fine collision detection. Just missed me. Yeah, well, I just missed the enemy, should I say. Um, it's just a shame that the, uh, the rainbows are yellow because that's kind of a putting a damper on the whole thing. And, you do, of course, you've got the typical uh, spectrum attribute clash with a sprite. Changing colours, you go across the backgrounds. Which is again a pity, but that's the, that's the nature of the spectrum. Doesn't take too much away from the game, to be fair. You get used to that quite quickly. Uh, the main sprite is actually quite clear and defined, and animated quite well as well. So it, it all, it's all very smooth. It doesn't slow down a lot. You get a little bit of music slow down here and there, but the movement of the rainbows and how you can scroll up really nice and smooth. That's uh, yeah, it's nice. It works well. It does work well, and it's got that lovely little typical Rainbow Islands tune playing in the background. I'm not really following the scoring here, of course, so as you can probably work out. Uh, you've got to collect the diamonds, um, essentially, to get the big diamond, like I've already mentioned. I can't... Oh, I didn't move. Why didn't I move? And I'm on my back. Like a loser. And it's game over. Hey, but we do have continue, so let's use a continue, shall we? Because it's in the form of the arcade. Let's go. At least uh, show you the second island. Uh, and like I said, like Bubble Bubble before it, the scoring system is quite complicated and it, do, it does take a bit of working out. There is a way of making maximum scoring out of uh, the amount of power-ups you collect and where you, and where you, collect, uh, where you kill the enemies, should we say. This is a tricky bit, this. Uh, but the main thing is getting the stars and the diamonds. That's the, that's, the, that's the mantra that I normally take. And here we go with the boss. Big fat boss. Oh, I've screwed that up completely. I missed him. 
with that first rainbow. Whoopsie daisy. Let's try that again, shall we? Uh, yep, good. That's a good hit. And uh, nice energy, massive energy bar at the top there. There we go. Another hit there. Come over here, sunshine. Oh, move, move, move. Oh, now that was that was a bit dodgy, wasn't it? Just clipped me with one of his tentacles. Hmm. Rather massive sprite that, and pretty impressive. Let's continue again until we beat this boss. Uh, very big sprite. Uh, obviously, uh, very simple uh, in the way it's drawn, but uh, again, the movement really well. Really well done. So it is a lot of fun, this game. It is definitely a lot of fun. I love the, uh, the, the loading screen. is particularly nice as well. I do like the loading screen. It's quite an impressive loading screen. Uh, you've got some nice shading going on there as well. A lot of big, big, bold colours. Nice play area too. Yes, lots of positives, lots of lovely positives, and a very, to be honest, it is a very fine arcade conversion given the spectrum constraints. Uh, like I said, all the 8-bit versions I think stand up pretty well. Uh, the Spectrum and the Amstrad being particularly good. I think the uh, smoothness of the Commodore is really good as well. There we go, 100,000 rainbow points at the top there. Well, I've got some good points, but I didn't get a lot of uh, diamonds, unfortunately, so let's uh, try and get some of these uh, down there. And I'm going to run out of time, and that's it. We move on to the next island. Yes, decent conversion, very decent conversion. I do like the um, do like the fact that it has the continues to really sort of like uh, blend, to take you into the game. Well, the little lives are marked at the bottom there, as you can see. I wonder if it would be possible to do a remastered version of the Spectrum to sort of like just make the rainbows rainbow coloured. Is that would that be possible? I'm not sure with the technical abilities of the Spectrum and whether that would be possible. I think it would be. Uh, I tell you what, a Spectrum Next version would be rather fine. That would be uh, that would be quite something. Lots of particle effects as well. I love the star explosions. They're really nice. So there's lots of action going on, on the screen. Lots of movement. Which is again another impressive feat when you see like there's hardly any slowdown and movements and the, and the scrolling doesn't really suffer a lot. It does stutter sometimes, but doesn't st stutter a lot. A bit like I stuttered there, <laughs> just to sort of like you know extemporise the point. Got shot by a mini tank there, which I can barely see, and that's a bit of a shame because them some them some of them sprites there they're getting a bit lost in the background. Some of the backgrounds can get a bit lost, and the same there when uh, old Bubby or Bobby or whatever his name is. Is uh, going on like that red, dark, dark red background, getting a bit lost. Uh, visually, you can still see him, but yes, a little bit lost, and that that made it tricky because I couldn't quite see where that enemy was there. So that sort of dumb me in. But yes, like I said, to wrap this up is a fine, fine conversion, a decent effort of an arcade classic by Tato. Yeah, on the ZX Spectrum, and uh, it's one of those games. Uh, if I had a Spectrum back in the day, I would have played, and I would have played it. Uh, yeah, quite a lot, and enjoyed it. So there we go. Rainbow Islands: The Story of Bubble Bubble 2 on the ZX Spectrum. Thank you for watching. Never back out. Hey, Novabug here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by liking and commenting, and of course subscribing if you haven't already done. If you would like to support me further, please consider joining my bug army via Patreon. And also don't forget to follow me over at Facebook, Twitter, BitChute and Twitch. And finally a very special mention to my bug army generals, Sam M, Sweet Nanook and Craig Harrison. Thank you everyone for supporting me, Novabug, out.